we go. That's not me. <laughs> I'm not very good at it. Hang on. Say something. Caleb, go. He kicks it. All right, almost. <laughs> This should be good. Nice kick! Oh yeah, that's how that works. Show us those hands. Oh, get away from me. wearing a black backpack.
Yeah, hi, I saw the ad for the car. Just wondering if it's violet or purple. What? Your car. It's violet, right? No, no. <laughs> It's purple, purple. Mate. It's blue. <laughs> it's blue. <laughs> Emily, what starts with E? Oh, I know. Um, no. Alright, who wants to hear some music? Daddy on the drum. Boom, 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 Whoa. Jesus. Melon colored fan? It's not melon, honey. It's papaya. That's papaya? It's papaya. It's papaya. Yes. What color is papaya? The color of that fan? Yeah. What are you thinking? It's green. 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 That's a challenge, girls. Fine, just be careful. It's green. Yeah. That's green. <laughs> Smart. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you won, Em. Yeah. yeah! Emily wins again. Okay, what do you want, sweetie? What happened? Jack? 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 Oh! Oh my god! No! Telling you, there are crazies all over this road. Oh, the country people scare you. <laughs> Thank you.
Hello? Is Caleb's mummy? Yes. Caleb's with us. Please. He's sleeping. What do you want? First, did you call the police? No. Are you going? No, please. Please don't hurt him. This is about one thing. Money. Remember, you're a mother and I have your child. Say it. I am a mother. And? You have my son. Good mummy. You call the cops complicated and you can give your son goodbye. Once it's stayed here, I saw the mouth for your son's safety. Don't fuck with that. Remember, you have no idea who I am, and I have no idea who you are. But let me state the obvious, and the obvious can be restated. You're a mother, and I have your son. I have your son. We'll pay, we'll pay the money. Yes. Now, was there anything familiar? Hearing it again. The speech pack, the voice, anything. No. Mrs. Hill, anything you tell us could help. Your policy does cover Caleb. Doesn't cover funds for these purposes. I heard policies cover that stuff these days. Pete, we've got the best policy you offer. Look, Jack, type of policies you're referring to are designed for people in high risk areas. War zones, etc. We need this money. For our son. I'm sorry, another hundred thousand just wouldn't be allowed by our computer. Pete. How old's James now? He's ten. Look, this is all I can do. Beatrix. Beatrix. It's a good idea, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, good on you. Yeah. Where's Emily? I don't know. She was here a minute ago. What's with the ugly kid? Do you know? No. I'm not even sure if it's a girl. Who are you? Name. Now. Cindy. Cindy? Well, Cindy, if pancakes that are coming there for my daughter, Emily, so maybe you should... It's me, Emily. Oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> How much for Emily? Um, we get on the freeway. <laughs> two, two and a half hours. <laughs> we hit the turn off. Still bait. <laughs> Two and a half hours. Okay. Uh, excuse me, if you take the turn off at Regent Street, it's much faster. Thanks. Uh, I'm sorry, I heard you mention Seal Bay, and we're heading there ourselves. It's beautiful up there this time of year. Oh, you don't have to tell us. Uh, we bought there last year, haven't looked back. 
Uh, I'm Ted, by the way. This is Betsy. Hunter, Winona. Hi. Emily and Cindy. Hello, Cindy. Hello, Emily. When I've got the glasses on. <laughs> Could I go to the bathroom? Pancakes for little one, thanks. Thanks. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine.
hasn't contacted us. It's been two weeks now. Cat, maybe we should go to the media. <sighs> After what they've been saying. What about Jack? I know, darling, but, but we need them on our side. Forgive my boldness, but where is Mr. Hill? He's under a lot of pressure, all right? Someone out there knows who this is, and we need them to come to us. We need to reach out to them. This is Hill. If we go to the media, the underlying message has to be twofold. A, you will pay the money. And B, you'll take no further action. You just want your son back. so let's keep the questions on task. Now let's help these people get their boy back. We've heard this story about right some motivated kidnapping. Uh, yeah, that part's true, but... Communication stopped. So, would you please, if you're watching this, we just want you to make contact with us again. Um, we just want our son back. What can you tell us about your son? Our son, Caleb, is five. He's five years old. He was last seen wearing a yellow t-shirt, a black jacket, his jeans. He's a really, really happy kid. He's a beautiful personality. He's very, very bright for his age. He asks a lot of questions, so please just be patient with him. Was he with you? How did miss him if you had him at the time? This is the person who we believe is responsible for the kidnapping. If anybody, if anybody knows anything, they should contact us immediately.
Winona! Winona! Oh, shit. I want a sweetie, sweetie, honey. Oh, sorry. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, shit. Are you okay? Come here. Can you get up? Get up. Get up. Come here. Look at me. Oh, shit. Uh, uh, what is it's all right. Wow. Wow. Can you stand up? Come on. Ah. Come on. Come on. Ah. Come on. Ah. Ah. Come on. Ah. Yeah, yeah. Look at me. Are you okay? I'll be fine. I'll be fine. What was that, Melody? She's gone. She's gone? What? Gone. They took her. They took her. Who? Who? Who I took her? Know. I don't know. What do you mean? She's oh, gone. Shh, shh, shh. Oh, honey, honey. oh my god. Honey. There's a cat. There's a cat, sweetie. Shh, shh. Come on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Honey, it's alright. There's a cat. It's alright. It's alright. It's all right. Yes. Hello. Katarina, are you ready? Yes. Good girl. I've got the money. Good. Now listen carefully. First let me speak to Caleb. Shut the fuck up! Get a pen and write this down. Mortimer Street Car Park. Rear entrance. Find the public toilet. If I smell a single pig, your son is fucking dead. Move! Thank you. 
Katarina? Yes. Who the fuck is that following you? Who? The fucking man in Ori! I don't know! Bullshit! Mommy? Caleb? Fucking stupid bitch! You just killed your son. Oh. He's not here! Let's see if they got a torch in the car. Let's ask him. We need to leave. There. Emily's scarf. That's the scarf. We need to leave right now. But she was here! Right now. I'm coming, don't move! I'm my hands out! Oh, God! I'm coming! Where are you? Shh! There's someone here. There's someone here. There's someone here. Stand still. 
does your head. It hurts. Relax, son. It's only morphine. We're ready. Good. Clean up their car. Then you go ahead and we'll catch up with you. All right. Let's move. Want us to stay? Where's our daughter? Please don't hurt him. And we're known as a researcher. Now fucking let us go! What's your name? Hunter. Hunter O'Shaughnessy. What's your name? Winona. Winona Gant. Winona Gant. Who the hell are you? Hmm? I'm a woman looking for some people. Yeah? Who? People named Winona. And Hunter. Well, we're not them. Well, we don't know you. Here's a thought. This isn't your story. It's mine. <laughs> Please. 
did you just do to her, you crazy fucking bitch? Hold up, baby. Hold up, baby. The cops are coming, okay? Hang in there. Stay with me. Why do you think you're here? Because you're insane and you kidnap strangers. Fuck if I know, just let it go. Shut burn. up! Shut up! She knows. She knows. Winona? Money? But you've got the wrong family, like he said. We're not rich. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. Maybe I have got the wrong Winona. And Hunter. All right. Answer these questions. Get them right. And you can go. What day is it? Day. Day. Saturday? What time is it? Uh, I don't know, maybe 11 or 12. Have you ever committed a serious crime? What? Murder. No! You're telling the truth. Either that or you're a great liar. I've answered your questions. We're not who you're looking for. You know, ever since you have started talking, you have done nothing but deny, Winona. Guilty people deny. Innocent people, they ask questions. Should I be asking? Who? Who am I? When you know the who, everything else will be obvious. Okay. Let's just say for a moment that I believe you. You don't remember me, but you remember that. Hmm? You wanted to leave. The second you saw it. I am looking for the woman who kidnapped and murdered my son. Maybe this will help your amnesia. Watch. Say something. Tell him. That doesn't prove anything. I'm not who you're looking for. You made one mistake. One tiny little mistake. See this background? Looks harmless. Right? Except when you stare at it for months. You see things, small things, tiniest little details.
There were 46 stores that sold that poster. I went to every single one of them. Until I found one with the same edge, the same mark. Then I knew you were a student at that campus. I can't explain it. Somehow I knew you had killed my son. I could feel it. Mrs. Hill, we recovered a body this morning, which I have every reason to believe is your son. I'm so very sorry. Where did you find him? The river. <sighs> and um, so, so where is he now? He's with the coroner. Look, I think it's best if we deal with the identification and all the forms. No, I, I want to see him. I have to see him. Sergeant. Sergeant. There's something I need to show you. So. Gonna arrest her? Mrs. Hill. What? Let me tell you your legal position. Oh, you have got to be kidding. She's right there! Look, I can arrest her. And maybe she'll be held until the trial. If she doesn't get bail. Which she probably will. And then it's the Commonwealth's job. Your job. 
to prove that she's the girl in the grainy photos. I know it is the girl in the photo. And on the tape. I know it is the woman on the tape. Beyond a reasonable doubt. If you think you can prove it, I'll arrest her right now. You need some help. The pills don't work anymore. No. I mean help. There's a bloke I know. He'll help you. Drucker said you found him. Yes. I did. You sure you want to step into this? It's a dark place. Making him pay won't bring him back. Won't fill the emptiness. It doesn't. I have to do something. If I don't, one day she'll feel safe enough to do it again. Come on. of justice.
I want you to listen very carefully. Let me state the obvious so the obvious can be restated. <laughs> exactly. Karina. It's been a while, Winona. You let me state the obvious. You are a mother. Yes. I have I your child. I know. Saint. I'm the mother. And you have my child. Please, just don't hurt. I don't want to hurt your daughter. Just tell me why. Why my son? Winona? Why my son? Get her in, stop. You don't know what you're opening. Do you hear? Can you hear the cracking in the old rooms? Tell me more about Emily, your daughter. Emily. What do you want to know? Does she like stories? Y yeah, I guess. What's Emily's favourite story? She likes a story about a kitten named Holly. Tell it. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Jenny. She was walking through the forest with her father, and they saw a cat, a beautiful cat, moaning loudly. What's wrong with the cat? She asked her father. He could see that, that it was in pain, that it was dying. He said, we have to find the cat's owner. Try and take the cat's pain away. And right then, a woman with blue eyes appeared from within the forest. She was the cat's owner. She said they'd have to close their eyes and concentrate on the cat's pain. So Jenny closed her eyes and concentrated on the cat's pain. Suddenly she felt the pain that the cat was going through. She tried not to scream. She didn't want to scare it. Both her and her father concentrated on the cat. And then after a few minutes, the pain was gone. Jenny opened her eyes. The cat was looking up at her, smiling. Then made her better. Jenny took the cat home, named her Holly, and they lived happily ever after. That's Emily's favourite story. She likes the ending. True. Can't fault a happy ending. Did you read to Caleb?
He liked Hansel and Gretel. When the kids find their way home. When's mom coming? Most days you just slept. Every day I wanted to call you. I couldn't. Katarina, stop. We'll stop. Stop. Before it's too we'll late. Stop. You tell me why. Why, my son? What difference will it make? He's working. She followed every instruction you gave her. Why don't you just let the kid go? I couldn't. Jenny went looking for strawberries. What? They were Holly's favorite thing in the whole world. The rain started to fall. Jenny didn't see any strawberries. She saw her father in the forest with her sister, Sally, and her mother watching. Sally? <laughs> Jenny's sister Sally? Mm-hmm. This is your story. <laughs> Winona gave her mother strawberries. <laughs> strawberries dipped in red poison. She went into her sister's room. I told her everything would be fine. She was doing the right thing. It's what she was shown. Shown? Who showed her this? Who showed her this? <gasps> Winona! Who? I can't. I can't. I won't. Why didn't you just tell me? 
What would I say? Stop, Lempe. She's not talking. Hurry up! Are you ready? You've got no idea what you're opening. Please. Does Emily still suffer from acrophobia? Come on then. What if all the vanished had one thing in common? What? The woman in the forest. She's real. You're telling me a demon forced you to kidnap my son? Just like it forced you to take Emily.
No more lies. Dig deep enough, you'll find her. Going back 400 years. Vanishings, unexplained crimes, kidnappings, you name it. Shirley Stewart. She just snapped one day in 64, murdering her entire family, her husband and seven children. What made the case bizarre was the way she killed them. One evil after another. Stabbing her daughter in the heart with a doll. Dismembering her baby with a hacksaw. Then she just vanished. Never seen or heard from again. Or Agnes Churchill in 1966 murdered her daughter, her husband and his mother with strawberries dipped in cyanide. When they asked her why she did it, she said she couldn't remember. All she remembered was feeling great joy watching them suffocate. There's plenty more like it. Betty Wilson mysteriously slaughtering her parents in the night. Judy Meadows killing her six-year-old sister. Denise Freeborn strangling her daughter with a fox fur. You forgot Winona Gant. Murdered her mother. Murdered my son. I tried to help him. I couldn't. She's here. Where is she? I know she's here. I don't know what you're feeling like this shit. Don't, Katarina, don't let her win. Yes. Kaz, did, did someone see you? Check outside now. Kaz, Kaz, hurry up. 
Just relax. There's nothing. Get in, Emily. Get in, Emily. Go. <sighs> Get up, get up. Give me the keys. You tell me why. Why, my son? Emily, get out of the car. Get out of the car! <laughs> it 
It wasn't me. Katarina, it wasn't me. Most often. The demon inside. It's just us. An excuse. To live with the horror. Is it my imagination, or is it just a glitch in my head? I thought I really knew. Is it all of my frustrations, or is it just an animation? Is it just 